hello guys and thank you for joining me today again um, I don't know if you guys have watched my other videos but I announced that I'm gonna start doing some of these SAP tutorial videos in Spanish because I can speak Spanish or might as well um, so like I said if you have any um, co-workers that speak Spanish and are trying to learn SAP but are struggling tell them to shoot me an email or to come and look at my videos but um, today I'm going to show you how to deactivate and activate PMs. Um, this can usually be done through IP02 and IP10. Deactivating PMs will be really useful when you have an equipment on idle and you no longer want to PM that piece of equipment for the whole month or for a year. So, it's, so instead of SAP generating these PM, you want to deactivate so it stops generating any more PMs on that piece of equipment. So, so I have SAP up here. I'm going to put IP02, click enter. Right here I have, a, I have a maintenance plan already in there. You can click enter again. I mean, depending on what maintenance plan, but put the maintenance plan you want to deactivate or activate. As you can see in the bottom, it says inactive. So when you go to maintenance function, you have to go to maintenance function. You go function, activities, and then right here you're gonna have the option to deactivate and activate but since it's already activated I only have the option of activate you click that and then you click save and this says maintenance plan has changed now you can go over here to IP 10 oh wait you're gonna have to press um, slash and IP 10 so this is schedule maintenance plan as you can see that my maintenance plan has been activated because it's on call and then you can also deactivate the maintenance plan through uh, IP 10 so if you go to maintenance plan function location activate deactivate now it's going to show you deactivate it and now you can see that the next maintenance plan that was going to be generated is locked so it means it's not going to generate you're not going to be able to see it and then you can also see that on IP 02 So you can also see that the maintenance plan has been deactivated. You go to, um, where is it at? You can go to right here where it says maintenance plan schedule calls. You can see that there have been three of these called. And then the next one that was going to be generated has been locked. So I mean that's pretty much how you deactivate and activate a PM. Like I said this would be really useful when you have an equipment that's an idle you guys are not using so you don't want to PM it so you just deactivate it and once that equipment is ready to be used again you go back on there and put activate but that's pretty much it thank you for watching and don't forget to watch my other videos and subscribe and show these other videos to uh, any other co-workers that might have be having issues with SAP or need help with SAP if there's an interaction you would like to see, just shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to put something together for you. But thank you for watching.